everyone. Uh, we are going to get started here in just another minute. It looks like people are still joining. So um, if you could let me know that you can hear me by uh, typing a, um, let's see, um, one more description about the weather in the questions box on your GoToWebinar um, chat module, that would be awesome. And again, we'll get started in just a minute um, as we wait for people to join. Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, welcome to the uh, Give Local NRV training webinar. Um, my name is Dawn, and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Uh, I do have a few housekeeping items to note before jumping in. Um, first, the webinar will be recorded and posted in the toolkit on the Give Local NRV site uh, under the Resources tab. And then um, you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across any questions that you have during the presentation. And we'll get to as many as we can after the webinar. Um, and I had previously uh, asked about one more description of the weather for uh, you know those of you, you who joined early. And it looks like most of you are having a very beautiful day, which is awesome. Um, I also have Ashley on the webinar with me. Um, she is from the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Um, she and uh, Jessica have been working really hard to make sure that this year's Giving Day is awesome. So I just want to welcome Ashley, and um, she has a couple things that she wanted to, to say to everyone today. Thank you, Dawn. I just wanted to jump on here real quick before we got started to say thanks so much for joining our webinar to get you guys up and running for the Giving Day. We had such great success with Mighty Cause last year, and so we're excited to be continuing that relationship with them this year. So if you participated in the Giving Day last year, then you know how great of a platform that it is. And if this is your first year, then hopefully you can pick up some great information here on how to make your giving day a great success. Uh, we really enjoy working with Mighty Cause and think that you will too. We are still working out some details on what our grants and awards will look like. So be sure to stay tuned as we will be unveiling those soon. Um, but I'll let Dawn get to it. Of course, if you have any questions about Give Local NRV, you can feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is listed on this slide, but thank you so much for being here. Awesome, thanks, Ashley. Um, we, at, you know, as Mighty Cause, we're really excited to partner with uh, the Community Foundation of the New River Valley again this year. Um, and we're really looking forward to providing technical support to everyone as you all gear up for um, this year's Give Local NRV. Um, so, you know, if you do have any questions as you're getting ready, um, or, you know, if one of your supporters or fundraisers has a question, um, our support team is always here to help. Uh, you can reach them at support at mightycause.com. Um, and I will have a dedicated support slide at the end of the webinar um, with all of our contact information. Um, so you can you know write down the phone number email etc uh, at the end of the webinar um and just to give everyone a quick background on mighty cause um we are a fully functioning um nonprofit fundraising suite that uh organizations can use um all year round to raise money for their missions uh, we've been around since uh, 2006 and we're actually one of the first platforms to host giving days so we've been doing this kind of event for a really long time and again we're super excited to host give local nrv um, for the second year in a row 
So let me go to today's agenda. So um, this is uh, today's agenda. Um, we're gonna go over some of the giving day basics. Then we're gonna walk through getting started uh, with Give Local NRV by registering and navigating your nonprofit page on the platform. We'll do a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So again, if you have any questions, um, please go ahead and just type them into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel and we'll make sure um, we get to it at the end. So first things first, uh, Give Local NRV Basics. Um, Give Local NRV this year is gonna be on June 23rd. Um, it's a 24 hour giving day that runs from midnight to midnight. Uh, early giving this year starts on June 1st. And as I'm sure you all know, it's organized by the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Um, like Ashley said, uh, they are working on their prize and grant money. Um, so definitely, uh, you know, keep checking back on the site, make sure you're checking your email. I'm sure as soon as all of those are set, um, you'll be getting communications about it, but um, stay tuned. Uh, usually there's some really good prizes available um, and I'm sure that that'll be the case again this year. So stay tuned on that. So for those of you who are new, um, a Giving Day is a, uh, a unique campaign presented by a host organization that allows um, you know, organizations to compete with other nonprofits or you can compete against your own goal uh, to win prize money. So Giving Days are just a really exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, uh, and more to spread the word about your organization and your mission and raise funds for your cause. So the limited time frame, um, you know, creates a sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to and the prizes available uh, give you fresh messaging opportunities throughout the campaign as well. So what does my nonprofit need to do? Um, to participate in Give Local NRV, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. Um, once you're registered, you can customize your profile on Mighty Cause and start planning for your campaign. Um, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And then once early giving has started on June 1st, um, you can start promoting your campaign. And then of course, you'll really wanna push the donation ask on the actual giving day, um, June 23rd. So basically you'll need to raise money to win some awesome prizes. So this is the homepage for Give Local NRV this year. Uh, you'll see the URL here on the side. Um, I would definitely bookmark it. Once the giving day starts, this is where you'll see the leaderboards that will indicate what place you're in, uh, as well as any additional prizes that are going on. So make sure you bookmark it now so that you have it when you need it. Uh, and then this page has all the tools that you'll need too. Uh, you'll see the register button right there at the top. Um, if you haven't registered yet, this is where you can go to do so. Um, if you're not sure if you've registered yet, um, I will get to that in just a minute. Um, the Giving Day homepage also has the, uh, the menu bar um, that includes things like the rules and resources, um, FAQ toolkit, and just lots of general good information. Um, and then it's also where once the prize information is available, you'll be able to access um, that information as well to look back on it at any time as you're planning your campaign. Getting started. So as I mentioned before, first things first, um, if you haven't already done so, you're gonna need to register your organization for Give Local NRV. Um, so every year you'll wanna re-register uh, to you know, express that you wanna participate in this year's Give Local NRV. Um, all you need to do is just go to givelocalnrv.org and fill out that registration form. Um, you'll need to either log into um, Mighty Cause or sign up for an account um, to view that form. So if you go to givelocalnrv.org, click register, um, and then uh, you'll be able to search for your organization and, and log in from there. And the site will prompt you as you go along. Um, so then once you've um, logged in, it'll unlock those registration questions and you'll be able to fill everything out and submit. So then once you've completed the registration form online, you'll receive an email confirming that we've received it. Um, and then uh, also, you know, once you've submitted your form and you've, you know, logged in, you'll be able to add administrators to your organization's account um, so that multiple people can access and help run your campaign for Give Local NRV. 
Uh, and then after submission, our team will review your responses. And then within 24 to 48 hours, uh, you'll receive an email confirming that you're approved and all set. I um, mean, of course, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to email um, support at mightycause.com. So navigating your dashboard. Um, so once you've filled out and submitted your registration form, the next step that you can take is to complete the items on your to-do list. So this list is gonna be in the overview section on your nonprofit profile. Um, and it'll just be for those organizations that haven't checked off all those items. So if you participated last year and you completed your to-do list last year, then you don't necessarily have to worry about um, completing it again this year. Um, but within that overview section um, that houses your to-do list, uh, that will also indicate whether or not you're registered for this year's Give Local NRV. So if you're not sure, um, you can just log into your site um, on givelocalnrv.org and then go to your overview on the dashboard. Um, and then you'll be able to see right there whether or not you're registered. If you're not registered yet for this year, it'll, it'll let you know, it'll say that registration is open. Uh, for this year's Give Local NRV. And if you just click on that, it'll take you right to the registration process. Um, so within the to-do list, um, for those organizations that still need to complete it or are new, um, there are five basic items um, for you to check off. Uh, you'll need to add a background image to your page. Um, you can use one from our gallery or stock background images. You'll wanna upload your logo. Oh, sorry, logo, oh my goodness. Um, is it Monday? I don't know. Logo. Um, you'll want to add a story, you'll want to add a description, um, and, you know, build a thank you page that donors will see uh, once their donation transaction is completed, uh, and you'll, you'll have the opportunity to sign up for direct deposit as well. So if you click the link in your to-do list, um, it'll take you right to that spot in your profile where you can complete that task. So it's super easy for you to complete that list. Um, of course, if you need help, you're unsure, um, just let us know, uh, support at mightycause.com. Uh, we also have a support library with, with like walkthroughs and videos that can help you out as well. Um, so I also recommend, you know, taking some time to get to know your dashboard when you're logged into your organization account. Your dashboard is um, the admin section that uh, you see on the left-hand side of the screen when you're logged in and you're on your, um, in your nonprofit's account. So when you do log in, you'll automatically land in your overview section, um, which again is where you'll find your to-do list. There will be metrics there for your nonprofit. Um, that page is super handy if you want to see like the overall, you know, activity for your organization. Um, you can add or remove metrics available there. So it, it really just showcases exactly what you want to know. Um, you can also filter by dates there as well. So if you, you know, participated last year in Give Local NRV and you, you know, want to see what last year's stats were um, and, you know, kind of create some benchmarks for yourself, you can do that all through your overview um, section on the site. So it's super handy. Um, so then uh, underneath that is the fundraising section um, on your dashboard. Uh, so here is where you can customize your organization profile, um, which you see in the picture here. Uh, you know, you can um, toggle on the edit mode. Uh, you can include page, page metrics, like adding a goal for the giving day, um, which enables a progress bar on your page. It's all on page editing. So you, you can just, you know, add or remove sections um, as you want, uh, as you go through the page. And then, you know, that'll update things on the um you know the public view as well and then of course if you ever want to see the public view like what does that look like um without all these like little editing things you can just toggle the edit mode on and off to to check that out uh, within the fundraising section as well on your dashboard um that's where you'll find the checkout flow which we'll talk about in a few slides as well as matching grants um, which we're also going to touch on a bit later and then below that on the dashboard is reports, um, which is where you'll be able to preview and export different donation reports. Um, and then you can manage your nonprofit settings like your URL customization, um, you have admin control, all of that um, right from your settings section. Okay, so customizing your profile. Um, your profile is, is the face of your nonprofit for the giving day. So you'll wanna make sure that it looks really good and it represents you well. Um, so, and just so you know, your profile link is the link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your Give Local NRV page. 
So to share your page, just copy and paste the URL into an email or a social post or, you know, wherever you're advertising the campaign. So, you know, as you're going through your to-do list, um, you'll want to customize your profile to match your brand. So you can change the theme color um, to match your logo. You can upload media to your gallery to add some visual interest on your page. Um, you can add your story or description um, to, you know, that's really the centerpiece of your page. Um, you know, in your story, you can put your mission statement, photos and videos, um, et cetera. You can embed your story um, or you can embed the uh, video into your story so that people can watch it there as well. Um, really, the story spot is where you, you just go in depth about your work and make that strong appeal to donors. Um, so definitely spend time, you know, reviewing your profile. If you participated last year, making sure everything's up to date, customizing everything that you want and can customize. Um, the more work you put into it, donors will see that. If you have a very blank profile page, they'll notice. Um, so if you put effort into it and make sure it, it's you know important, they'll get the message and know it's important as well. So um, the first thing you'll want to do when editing your profile is uploading your organ your organization's logo. So. You can use that pencil icon um, to open that section up for editing. Um, logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit in that spot. Uh, the logos on Mighty, Cars, Mighty Cause are the same um, aspect ratio as many social media sites. Uh, so if you use your logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can use that same logo here as well. Um, you'll just wanna make sure that your logo doesn't clash with your background image. Um, so you can see the background image here is the Hive Drive. Uh, all you have to do to um, update it is um, there's a little uh, uh, palette uh, icon and you click on that and um, it allows you to either upload your own background image, you can choose from our gallery of images available. Um, and then the other thing you'll wanna do is um, change your theme color to match your organization's branding as well. Um, and you can do that through that palette icon too. So basically the, the theme icon is, you'll see um, it's sort of a little cut off, but you can see on the picture here under the pollen Midwest, uh, that pinkish color, that's the theme color that um, this organization picked. So um, you can update your theme color to match your branding so that your buttons match, um, any hyperlinks that you have within your story text match. So um, everything looks uh, nice and polished when you're done. So if you've participated in Give Local NRV in the past, um, one thing you might wanna consider doing this year is resetting your organization's metrics so that your organization profile accurately reflects um, just this year's money uh, raised for Give Local NRV. Uh, so to do that, um, you'll wanna to go to your organization's profile um, within that fundraising section on your dashboard and click the pencil icon next to um, the, the metrics uh, boxes there. So you'll see um, with the screenshot on the slide, um, there's two sections that you can edit. The first section is gonna be your, your metrics. So you can um, update that to start the calculation on um, you know, June 1st for when early giving starts. And you don't have to do this now, you can do that later if you want, but um, prior to the start of early giving, um, that would be a good idea. And that way, all the money on your profile page will reflect what only what you've raised during Give Local NRV. And then of course, if you do use the site year round, you can always adjust that um, calculation period uh, once Give Local NRV is over. And then the second section um, that you can edit regarding uh, your metrics is the goal. So you can reset your goal um, for you know this year's Give Local NRV. Um, and of course, you can edit it at any time. And then once you're done, if you wanted to make your profile page more evergreen, you can just remove that section as well. So it's pretty flexible. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, um, you can always email our support team and we will be more than happy to help you out with that. So tell your story. Um, the about section of your page is your chance to explain basically what your nonprofit is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in within that um, about section. So all you have to do is click into that section and start writing. Um, you can add media to your story to kind of jazz things up. Um, you can utilize that inline text editor to add links. Uh, you can upload images. Uh, you can link to videos um, from YouTube and Vimeo. 
um, they'll basically get embedded in your story so that people visiting your profile can uh, watch them right within that section. Um, you're also able to add uh, bulleted or numbered lists. Uh, basically, this spot is really where you can go in depth about your work and um, you know really make a strong appeal to donors. Tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your of your work as well. Uh, and then one really cool piece of your profile is the ability to add a custom tab. So if you have extra info that you want to share that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, you can create a custom tab to add that information um, to your nonprofit's profile page while keeping everything organized and easy to find. Um, you can add anything that you'd like to the custom tab. So, you know, information about any upcoming events, frequently asked questions about your nonprofit, um, information about your staff, acknowledgements, um, resources, you know, what, whatever you feel um, is applicable um, that you want to share but don't want to necessarily put on your about uh, section, um, then that's a good spot. And you can create up to three of those custom tabs that you can label whatever you want. Um, so it's it's a really comprehensive way uh, to you know provide all the information that you could want to your um, uh, donors uh, right there on your organization profile page. Uh, so the media gallery on your organization's profile is where you'll be able to add uh, any additional images that you have um, for your organization. So this is a really great spot to show donors visually what your organization does and where the funds are going. Um, you can also connect your organization's Instagram, um, uh, which you know is gonna import the pictures that you already have there. Um, and then you can also do that with your Facebook too. So you know, connecting those accounts not only provides the additional content, but it also lets people coming to your page know that you have those social accounts so they can easily follow or like you. Uh, and then one cool thing about that too, especially if you're a small nonprofit, is if you, the, the media gallery images are going to um, be just stagnant. They'll just stay there until you manually go in and change them. But connecting your Facebook or Instagram accounts uh, will rotate those pictures as you add new um, you know, pictures to your Instagram and Facebook accounts. So if you're a small nonprofit, it would be, you know, a, it's, basically less work for you if you uh, attach one of those accounts because then you never really have to go back to your organization uh, profile to you know put in new pictures they're always going to be refreshing depending on what you've added to your um, Facebook or Instagram accounts um, and then lastly you can optimize your social social share settings um, within the settings section on your dashboard uh, so basically what that means is you can standardize the social template whenever someone shares your campaign. Um, so, you know, set a standard logo, uh, a little blurb, and, you know, even hashtags that populate whenever a supporter spreads the word about you through their own social media accounts. Um, the next item that you'll want to customize is your organization's checkout flow. So this is located within your fundraiser section on the dashboard. Um, the checkout flow is what your donors experience when they make a donation toward your organization. Um, the first part to customize is your checkout steps. So this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's profile page. Uh, the checkout flow section um, gives you just a lot of control over the donation process um, for your organization during Give Local NRV. Uh, it allows you to opt into collecting information that you want from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up custom suggested donation amounts, and you can add descriptions uh, to help tie those amounts to um, items or services that your nonprofit provides, which you know just strengthens your appeal um, to donate. And then the checkout steps within your checkout flow also allow um, allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually having to go in and um, make a test donation. So you can see what your final process will look like and you can use that to edit yourself if needed. Um, the post checkout section within your checkout flow is that's where you'll go to set up your thank you page and you have the ability to customize your donation receipt. Um, both of which use that same text editor as your story on your profile. Um, so you can add text links, videos, an image. Um, you can add um, a custom call to action button on your thank you page that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. So um, one idea, for example, uh, for that um, button on your thank you page would be uh, directing them back to your website to uh, 
have them sign up for your email list. Um, so that's just one idea. You can make it whatever you want, um, whatever you feel is applicable. And if you don't need a button, then you don't have to fill it out. So it's pretty flexible. Um, you're also able to customize your organization's donation receipt uh, within that post checkout section. So this customization that you set, it appears above the tax deductible donation receipt that gets sent out automatically um, after a donor completes their donation on the site. So there's a lot you can do in the checkout flow tool to really optimize your campaign and customize that checkout process for your donors. So I, I highly recommend taking the time to, you know, either set this up if you've never participated in Give Local NRB before, or if you're returning from last year, it's probably a good idea to review what you have there um, right now, just to see if you need to make any updates. So um, the fundraising section on your dashboard is also where you'll find the matching grants tool. So as I'm sure many of you know, um, having a matching grant from a donor or a corporate sponsor um, can go a really long way in driving donations. So I want to make sure that you're aware of the tool that we've created specifically for that. Uh, a matching grant, you know, using this tool is something your organization secures and sets up on your own. Um, but this tool allows you to display a matching grant that you've worked to secure on your organization profile page. So the matching grants tool is a really versatile tool and you've got a lot of options for how you structure your match. So while a lot of matches are one-to-one -one matching, um, you know, if someone gives you that amount, the exact amount is matched. You can also do two-to-one, three-to-one. You can match a percentage of each donation. Um, our, our matching grant tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match. Um, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So for instance, um, you know, if we do end up having a prize where, you know, there's a unique donor aspect to it, um, being able to secure a matching grant for a specific number of donors, um, it would be very helpful in, you know, you know, allowing you to try and win that prize for Give Local NRV. Um, so, you know, however you do set up your matching grant, um, you'll want to be strategic about it because really it it really does help drive donation volume and traffic. Um, there's there's just there's a lot of flexibility around the matching grant tool. Um, I will talk more about the matching grant tool and like what you can do with it um, and you know how you can be strategic with it um, in our next webinar. Uh, so um, you know stay tuned for that. Uh, so you know, while it might sound like a lot, the tool itself, it's really user-friendly. Um, again, a lot of flexibility. Right now, since we're pretty early in the process for Give Local NRV, I would highly suggest, you know, checking it out, um, kind of seeing if there's any, like, interest among your major donors or any corporate partners you have, you know, who might want to provide a matching grant. Um, there's, you know, you can provide uh, publicity for them along with it too. Again, it's a marketing tool. Um, that you can utilize. So check it out. Let us know if you have any questions about it. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we'll be happy to help uh, in terms of setting it up, um, you know, any strategic questions you have. Uh, so just let us know. Um, so then next on the list, reports. Um, you can access reports on your donations and disbursements uh, in that report section of your dashboard. So clicking on that section is going to give you a submenu where you can choose from an all donations report, a report on recurring donations um, your organization has, as well as the donor retention report, um, which will really come in handy if you participated last year. Um, you can find a disbursements report here as well. So um, your donation report is going to be available to you in real time. Um, it's going to include information like donor name, email, any designations or dedication options you have gross and net amount of their donation, as well as fees associated with the donation. Um, it'll also tell you what page a donor donated to if you have multiple pages, like fundraising pages set up, um, as well as lots of other information. So basically the information that you set up to collect during the checkout flow is also going to show in your donation report. Um, so for example, if you turned on the option to collect phone numbers, um, within the checkout flow, then those answers that donors input as they fill out the donation form to make a gift, um, will show on your donation report as well. And then the disbursement section of your report center allows you to see your batch disbursement history. Um, you can just click on that disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, like um, 
which exactly which donations were included in that report, um, a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, net amount included in the disbursement, um, et cetera. Uh, you can download uh, reports specifically for that disbursement. So if you have you know, a finance person or a finance department who you know, wants to reconcile something, um, they can definitely be admins on the account. So they're able to access this information themselves, or you can always send them a report um, with all that information too. Um, all donations on uh, the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer um, or direct deposit, which is the recommended method um, since it allows fund disbursements twice monthly. Um, we can also send disbursements via check. Uh, check disbursements get sent out once a month, and there is a $5 administrative fee associated with check disbursements. So again, highly recommend signing up for EFT since it's free and you get your money uh, faster um, and more often. Um, I want to specifically call out the donor retention report, since this report is going to be very helpful for those organizations that participated in Give Local NRV last year. Um, you can find the donor retention report under the reports section um, of your dashboard. So the retention report um, allows you to see at a glance which donors have not been retained uh, from certain time periods. So what I would recommend is, um, you know, go into your retention report now, filter it to show last year's um, time frame for Give Local NRV so you can see now um, who gave during your campaign last year. That will allow you to start, you know, really planning some email communications directly to those or, um, uh, people who donated last year. Um, and then once uh, early giving starts on June 1st, I would revisit that section of your account, um, update the time period to show, um, you know, last year's early donors and download that report that comes up. So basically, you can you can really utilize this report to specifically target those donors that either gave during early giving last year um, and, you know, maybe haven't given yet this year if it's later in the early giving process for give local nrv and then the same for the actual day um so you can go um the day of and you know make sure that the people who gave last year are at least getting some sort of communication reminding them to donate again this year for give local nrv it's just a really really great report to help um build your email marketing strategy so that you're hitting the right donors with the most timely and targeted message that you can um, so, you know, if you need help at all navigating your retention report or, you know, tips on using um, how to use it, uh, again, email us support at mightycause.com. So the last section on your dashboard is the settings. Uh, if you click settings, it opens a sub menu where you can update your organization settings. You can customize your organization's URL, manage your electronic fund transfer um, so that you can get all the money you raised during the campaign the way that you want. Um, you can update your legal information if needed, customize your social sharing. Um, so there's a bunch you can do, add, add or remove admins, um, a bunch of stuff that you can do within that section. Um, and then this is also if you um, have our uh, advanced subscription account, we do have integrations with MailChimp and um, Salesforce. So if you want to use those during Give Local NRV, then you can access those through the integrations um, and just let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we do offer free trials. So if you wanted to you know, just utilize it for Give Local NRV, um, I believe our free trials are a week long, so you could just utilize the free trial. Um, and that is a secret. So now you know. Um, definitely take advantage of that if you would like, um, since it is free. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, let's see. OK, so moving on from the dashboard in your Mighty Cause account, I want to make sure that I mention the really awesome tools that you can use as you get ready for Give Local NRV. Um, and those are all going to be found within the nonprofit toolkit. So the toolkit is located on the home page. So if you go to givelocalnrv.org, um, under resources, you'll see it right there. Um, the toolkit has, you know, tips and tricks. It's got FAQs, walkthroughs. It has templates you can use for email and social media um, to basically help you get inspired and figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, it's got just some really comprehensive documents uh, to help you understand social media marketing better. Um, this 
the toolkits also where uh, I'll put today's training recording. Um, and there will be, if there aren't already, some logos and graphics that um, you'll be able to utilize to help tie your brand into the Give Local NRB brand. Um, so definitely check out the toolkit if you haven't already and refer back to it as you're, uh, as you're planning your campaign. So as we wrap this up, I want to make sure that our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they are an awesome resource before and during the uh, campaign for really anything, you know, Give Local NRV related. Uh, if you need help setting up your EFT, if you need some help figuring out how to strategize around the prizes um, once they've uh, become available, uh, you know, if your donor needs a receipt resent, uh, anything at all. Um, our team is here to help you. Uh, our phone number is there um, as well. So if you if you know that you're someone who prefers phone support, write it down, um, and then you'll be able to reach, reach us um, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern. Um, you can also email us at any time, support at mightycause.com, um, and we are always happy to help. And then lastly, I want to just plug really fast um, the next webinar that we'll be having. Um, it'll be all about strategy. We'll be talking about um, that matching grants tool specifically. We'll be talking about um, email marketing strategies, some social media marketing strategies. Um, so, you know, and um, I don't, we might have the prizes available then. I don't know. But if we do, um, we'll definitely be talking about ways that you can utilize some of those tools uh, to help win some of those prizes. Uh, but it, it'll be Tuesday, April 20th at 2 Eastern. Um, you can register for the uh, webinar now, and um, I would recommend just going going ahead and signing up for it. Um, that way, you you know that it's um, you know you're locked in, and it'll be recorded as well. So if you um, if you do sign up for it now, um, then you'll also get a recording sent to you. So um, I would definitely do that. That way, you know you're all set. You're already signed up for it, and um, uh, good to go. Okay, so um, questions. Let me see if any questions have come in. Let's see. This, we have one question and it is a very good question. So, I mean, all questions are good questions, but this is um, an exceptionally good question. Uh, so last year, um, this organization only use, utilizes Mighty Cause for Give Local NRV, and last year they directed donors to donate on their main profile page um, and didn't create a separate fundraiser specifically for Give Local NRV. Um, and then they asked, will this be fine again this year? Yes. Um, totally fine. If, if all you use Mighty Cause for is Give Local NRV, that's great. Um, we're happy to have you. And if you want to utilize your profile page, um, again, this year, all you have to do is just reset those metrics like I was talking about. Um, go to your, when you log in um, under the fundraising tab, you can see your organization profile. Click on that and then you can make any changes that you want, um, you know, to update your profile page for this year's Give Local NRV. Um, or you can, you know, if you want to uh, make it evergreen and, uh, you know, remove any like metrics or anything like that. Um, that's fine too it's it's there for you to utilize um however you'd like so um good question and the answer is yes let's see um is there a cost to participate in give local nrv or to register with mighty cause so um there's no cost to sign up for mighty cause or register for give local nrv um, there is uh, transaction fees that get taken out of the donation uh, to help pay for the program and the platform. Um, that, uh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what the fees are, but they are in the FAQs on givelocalnrv.org. Um, so you can check that out there. Um, donors do have the option to cover the fees. So if your donors choose to cover the fees, then you'll get 100% of that donation. Um, and we do have a very high um, donor cover the fee rate for Give Local NRV. I want to say over 90%. Um, it's, it's very high. So most donors do choose to cover the fees. So a lot of the nonprofits participating in Give Local NRV, um, their actual fees for what they pay um, for, you know, um, to participate in the program are extremely low. 
Um, I was, there was one organization that I was talking to um, and they were participating in a different giving day, but on very similar vein and they paid $17. Um, and they raised um, a couple thousand dollars. So uh, it was, you know, a very good return on their investment. Um, but again, donors have the ability to cover the fees. Um, the fees are laid out in the uh, FAQ uh, section on givelocalnrv.org. Um, let's see. I don't have any other questions coming in. Um, at the moment. Uh, Ashley, is there anything else that you'd like to add um, that maybe I didn't cover or that you want to, to tease for next time? No, I think that's all. Um, I will say that it's going to look like we are going to be able to give out more awards than we have in the past. And oh, so great. we're excited about that. Um, so definitely stay tuned as we're ironing out some of those details. Um, and join us for our next webinar. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I um, don't have anything else either. Uh, if anyone thinks of anything after the fact, then please don't hesitate to email um, email us. Uh, you can reach me at dawn at mightycause.com um, or you can email our support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, and yeah, we're here to help with any questions, anything at all. Um, our success is your success. And I hope everyone continues to have a beautiful day. So happy fundraising. And I hope to see you all on our next webinar on April 20th.